Welcome to another episode of New Tunes Tuesday. Today we'll be covering over two builds, one being Illusion Control and Radiation. The other one will be Water Blast Tactical Arrow. So for uh, Illusion Control will be primary for the controller and the radiation. This was a fun build to do, um, mainly because I haven't built one. Um, because on live I had illusion cold control. So it was similar, but not the same. This one actually gets a little bit more help because of accelerated metabolism. It gives you recharge. So you can be a little bit more flexible in your power choice. Totals here. So first we got blind. Four slots of best of this case. It gives us a range defense, recovery, recharge. It's one of my favorite sets. And a chance for plus two mag hold. So the, spamming this is a really strong hold for AVs. So important, important enemies to, to lock down. Uh, Raiding Aura, I six slotted. I wanted the range defense and especially needs a little resistance. Um, you're good. It's a good power. You know, 23.5% life for you know, for the trigger of it. Uh, Deceive, I got five slots in it. I wish I could put six slots in it. But Tejas Confusion and corrosive persuasion causes aggro. So this deceive when you can hit it with stealth and not get aggro um, and just confuse things without any worry of them attacking you. The other set in here that's really good is Malay's Illusions. It's the exact same set bonuses, but a little bit weaker. And it's a chance for sonic damage. That'll also draw, draw aggro. So the two good sets in Confuse has their six slot as 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 aggro. Don't want to aggro when you're when, on a confused power. I should restate that. You don't want aggro on a confused power that doesn't draw aggro naturally. So that doesn't that doesn't equate to like uh, plant control with their their seeds of confusion. That causes aggro no, no matter what. <clears throat> but here we want to not draw aggro. Kind of sucks to lose that 5% range defense on the table because of, of how you want to play the character when you're in that situation. Otherwise, you could just use it at any time. Uh, radiation infection. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not a really big user of Hamios. If you've seen all my past videos, I don't really use Hamios. Uh, they are great. It comes time to use them, but the loss of set bonuses will outweigh the use of them. And that's not a particular knack on Hemios. I just, I like set bonuses. If I can get a set bonus that's, that's not, that's worth it, I'd rather get the set bonus. If not, then that's fine. So here's one example of, of a Hemio use. This power is not super high endurance, but it is 0.52 base. And it's to hit debuff and defense debuff. So these cameos is endurance cost, defense, and to hit. I mean, it's perfect. It's it's like it's made for this this power. It also has a chance for resist debuff proc in it as well. So this will also give you resist debuff when you hit when you toggle on an end. That's an amazing set. The other the, the set that I would have used in here if I wasn't using Hamios is four slots of Dark, Dark, Dark Watchers Bear. It's 5% recharge. Uh, it gives you recovery and it gives you hit points. But it's only 5% recharge. It's not a lot. Back pre alpha slot incarnates and stuff like that, maybe you want to go for recharge because getting perma phantom army. Might be kind of hard without it. So I opted with three here, the two cameos and the resist proc. Uh, flash, AoE, hold, same bassless case, I love it. Superior invisibility, luckily gambler, uh, global recharge, defense endurance, defense endurance recharge. I value endurance highly over most things. So I don't mind losing the straight up defense IO, or they just get extra endurance reduction. Uh, Excited Metabolism, three slots of the Orange Shifter, as much recharge as you, get, as you can get, so recharge, recharge, and recharge. <clears throat> uh, 
uh, and this is permanent. So we are 12 seconds uh, overlapping. So this will this this power will be up for 12 seconds prior to its last cast duration falling off. Uh, intervening field of minus damage, minus resistance, toggle, great power, just endurance reduction. In it. There's not really much else you can do. I was able to do two slots because it's a 1.04 endurance cost versus radiation infection is only 0.5. So this this power is double this toggle. You want to get extra endurance reduction. In. Uh, hasten two slots. Hasten is permanent by 7.2 seconds. So it's a good overlap to where if you do get hit by recharge debuff. Um, not going to hurt you too much. Uh, having having a decent overlap is always good. Um, and I say decent overlap. If you have a lot of overlap, then you might be hurting yourself more than what it's worth in your other slot. So this is perfect. Seven point two, great. Uh, mutation just just a single slot. There's don't need extra endurance for this. Just put recharge in it. Uh, Phantom Army, it's five slots of Call to Arms, gives you special lethal resistance, recharge, hit points recovery. That's perfect. I love those. Uh, and then I put an extra recharge in here because Phantom Army needs to be permanent. It's the basis of why this build is so good. Uh, lingering Radiation, uh, Accuracy and a Recharge in here. You want to get that accuracy up. Uh, this is okay because we have Kismet, which gives you to hit. I will say this in every video. Kismet is hit, 6% to hit, not accuracy. This is wrong. In-game, it's also wrong. It says accuracy in-game. It's not accuracy. I've tested it both here and in-game. It is to hit. End of spiel. <laughs> uh, super speed. I love Blessing of the Zephyr. Two slots. Uh, range defense is right right off the bat. If you're not looking for range defense, you, might, you don't really need to go here. Just do end endurance reduction in it. And I was able to fit the slow resistance proc, not proc, slow resistance IO in there to help you uh, from getting debuffed your, your recharge from being debuffed. Uh, Spectral Terra did six slots of the Will of the Controller. Uh, I believe the, the Spectral Terra will trigger the chance for sonic damage. So it'll actually do some extra damage in it. Um, but I can't confirm that. I don't know, but I wanted the six slots anyway, so I put it in anyway. Um, the reason why I put it here, because the will of the controller isn't that useful in other sets. So here, we give you you know everything that you need, but Basilisk Gaze, four slot for the recharge is so valuable. So use those there and then use that here, because otherwise it's just a glimpse of the abyss, which, you know, terrorize, hit points, accuracy, and recharge. Um, ac accuracy is okay. It's, it's nice added. Uh, hit points is good and recharge is good. But uh, Wheel of Controller gives you damage buff, uh, control uh, bonuses, so mobilize, sleep, terrorize, confuse, hold, and stun. But 15% accuracy, better than 9. 10% recharge, better than 6.25. And 5% uh, range defense. So this is just a good power to put it in to uh, get the good bonuses out of it on not losing out on opportunity for uh, other sets like Basilisk Gaze or uh, Corrosive Persuasion. Maneuvers three slots like I normally do. Defense Endurance, Defense Endurance, Reach, Recharge, and Recharge. Tough is three slots Reactive Armor for the range defense. It's not a lot. You also get Smash and Lethal Resistance, it's not a lot, but there's not much else here. You know, six slots of this, which I've done down there, and you can only do six slots once for the defense. That's a range. Uh, Unbreakable Guard here is a good set, but it's melee defense. We're not going for melee defense, we're going for range. There's not much else here. AoE, uh, melee, uh, no defense there. And that's it. And you get recharge here, but for five slots. Five slots for recharge. That's no good, because here, five slots, ten. Five slots, ten. Five, five slots for five, five percent is terrible. 
uh, Phantasm, six slots, and reinforcement. Uh, it's a great set. I, the two piece set bonus is not super useful, but why not? Uh, but the damage, the recharge, uh, regen's okay, but not important for a controller because since your hit points are not high, your regen is not going to be high. They do work together, but you also get range defense. So I get the recharge and the range, range defense, and the damage buff is icing on the cake. So it's you got three good set bonuses right there. Weave, same thing as maneuvers. Water spot, I love water spot. The fact that you can cast it, it takes 1.32 seconds to cast it. And then it just does its own thing is amazing. Um, fire is also a good mastery, but fire is more geared towards a pure damaging controller, which is usually kinetics. <laughs> Let's just say that now. Um, <clears throat> but water spot is really good. I like water spot. You know, 607 damage. That's unbuffed, unbuffed from anything. That's 607 damage without any any exterior buffs or debuffs. No resist debuffs, nothing. So that's not bad. And it's up more than 50% of the time, and, and it has a knockdown conversion. So all the water spot is mainly knock up. They still kind of knock up and out. I'd rather just straight knock it down. And the six slot is Annihilation. Resist debuff. Great. Uh, Shark Skin, again, six slots. The range defense, hit points, toxic silent resistance is not great, not ne really needed, especially on a character that's not tanking. Uh, <clears throat> knockback and recovery. We already have eight knockback, so we've got eleven now. Uh, em pulse, four slots, basket gaze, recharge, combat jumping, global recharge, kismet. But what's nice here is that you have flash and AoE hold, and you have em pulse, AoE hold. So you can go back and forth between these two, going from mob to mob, or mob or every other mob, every other mob, whatever it ed whatever it ends up being. Uh, now that uh, stamina is three slotted, I do end mod, end mod recharge, or end mod accuracy doesn't matter as long as it has end mod something and a uh, chance for plus endurance, which you always need. And C is amazing; it gives you periodic heal, and it also gives you endurance every now and then, like performance shifter. Performance Shifter and Panacea work in the same way for their endurance. Uh, Miracle plus Recovery, Lumina's up here. So your your endurance use is going to be way high over your uh, your endurance recovery is going to be way high because your endurance use is over is way high, and this ends up being no no problems with endurance. And I would believe even with these two on, you're still looking at 1.7 endurance a second over the top of your usage. And because your controller, you're not gonna be hitting powers like crazy, like a blaster. So you'll be fine on endurance, it's good. And I went agility core. I say this in almost most of my videos. <laughs> I love agility core. It is amazing. Um, so over here we have agility core. It's end mod. It helps you not, not run out of endurance, especially on this ca character where you're using a lot of endurance. Recharge rate, which we need a recharge rate because we're going for a specific uh, power to be permanent. This is one of the bills that I just go for recharge everywhere. Defense buffs, which is always helpful. Um, there's not much else here. I mean, there's some other ones, but there's nothing that has recharge in it along with other useful stuff. So agility is usually my favorite. Uh, and the last note is that Phantom Marmy in in Mids Reborn version 2.54, uh, Phantom Marmy is not not being affected by Alpha Slot. It is not adjusting the recharge on Phantom Marmy from Alpha Slot. So in my in my video here in my mid in my Mids, it's not permanent. 62.57 60 second recharge or 60 second recharge. I have alpha slot on, but it's not being affected. The reason why I know it is that it's mids fault. Mids fault, that's a bad way to say it. The, the, it's a bug in mids because we tested it in game and it does affect the recharge of Phantom Army. So 
So this is good. This has got Perma Phantom Phantom Army as well, along with Range Cap Defense and Smashing Lethal Cap Resistance. Uh, so although Phantom Army does draw aggro and it will hold aggro, it has a taunt. It is it is nice to have extra defense for yourself in case you get aggro from somewhere else that your Phantom Army is not getting aggro for. So this is it's a super tanky build. This is gonna be amazing. Uh, I can't wait to see this in person because this is this is being built for someone that I play with who is also a viewer of my Twitch stream and watches my YouTube videos. So this is the first build. I will be <clears throat> going over the second build, which will be uh, in the link in the description for this video. I'm going to split this into two parts. This is part one. Part two will be the Water Blast uh, Tactical Arrow uh, <clears throat> Blaster. Uh, check out the blaster. It's, it was super awesome. It's so strong. Uh, so just a quick note, uh, I'm Alien Mafia. I build uh, people's uh, characters on stream on Monday nights. Uh, in order, f you know, if you want me to build your character as well, uh, there's a link in the description to a Google spreadsheet. There is columns and rows in there that have, uh, that you can fill in for specific um, reasons for the build. So you have global name, I can contact you if I have any questions. Class, uh, the archetype, the primary, the secondary, what it's used for, PvE, PvP, uh, AE, farming, things like that. Uh, have you have you played it before? Just simple stuff like that. Um, so, like me to build it, and I'm over there. Um, there's a link in my link to my Twitch account, my Twitch stream, in there as well. Uh, again, I'm I'm streaming. I should be streaming most days from here on out. Uh, otherwise, Monday nights mainly always for Builders Corner. Uh, that's it. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like in the description if you enjoy this. I got a new microphone. Hopefully, this works out. I have not opened up my window or my fan, so hopefully the in the background is not overbearing not mine <laughs> uh, that sounds terrible ignore that <laughs> um so have a good one and i'll see you in part two